Daytona. We're back. No walk on the Rockville today, no go-kart racing today, no NASCAR racing today, or Rolex, or any of that stuff. We're here because they have an RV show going on. And after years of saying that we want to buy an RV, kind of in the market for an RV. We're hoping for not a lot of sales pitches here. Are we looking for trailers? Probably 17 to 20 feet-ish. I would tell you ride can tow up to 5,800 pounds. This guy is kind of small. We were looking at the tab 400s to be honest, but I don't know if they have any. There's tons here. These are way too big for us. Yeah. Go peek around some of these. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, this got two is, floors here. This, this is 44,000. Check out the upstairs. Oh my God. Got a bathroom here, full bath. Holy shit. Queen size bed. Got a full closet over here too. Oh, we can actually open it if you want to. Oh, wow. The shower is a good size. I'm almost 6'2". And you can see the headroom in here. Nice. Got three burner stove in this guy. Wow. Nice size fridge. We got a fireplace. Nice little fireplace. You got storage there, you got storage above here. Tons of storage. You got separate theater type seating here. And a couch, looks like it'll pull out. You can look at an even bigger guy over here. A little slide out. Wow. Oh, wow. This has like a whole wow, a separate room in here too. I'm looking at a little work area here dedicated. Oh my god. Let's go upstairs. Oh, two upstairs. Yeah, that's, I that's got this you can climb up here. overhang over here. As well as your bathroom wow. and your master bedroom, this which is, is just gigantic. This is like a, a, queen, a queen size bed. Look at this, and look at the closet. Oh my god! All the separate room for shoes and you accessories. Have a full dresser. Yeah. Dresser. Wow. Lots of storage. Done. But this is a little mattress up top. You got kids that can fit up here. It'd be great. Otherwise, extra storage. This, I, I'm sorry. And, like this is the amount of the car. Yeah. 74 grand. Wow. And we have a fireplace in here too. Nice. Recliners. And this has an actual regular size refrigerator. A smaller one here, dual axle. Nice size bed. This one's kind of geared towards toy trailing. Yeah. So you got some quads or stuff that you want to put on the back there. Or even this is going to be a porch. <laughs> yeah, we got the little seat there. Yeah. 30 grand on this guy. Wow. A couple of separate seats. Not much yeah. flash wise, but it's. This is a couch that folds down. The and the bathroom is kind of awkward where the toilet is directly in front of the shower, but the shower is tall. Moving right along. Transcend Explorer, 240 ml. Wow. Really nice. 27 grand. Oh, this one actually says 28. 20, almost 29, but still, this is nice. Wow, got a little separate bedroom here, too. Holy cow. It's hard as a rock. It's like sleeping on a wall. But you can swap out the mattress. And this is the view from the bedroom. Cabinets are nice. The TV is up here, so you can't really see that from the bed. The bathroom. I like it more. It's nice. 
the shower is a little small. Yeah. So, this is me in the shower. Thank yeah. God for skylight. <laughs> and the faucet's a little low. But it's nice, they got a full medicine cabinet here and yeah. storage. Yeah, Hooks. Can, uh, nice a lot of these smaller sizes don't have that. Oh. One big sink. Lots of storage. Yeah, okay. Three burner. Oh. More storage here, too. Look how much there's. Yeah, this is nice. Mm -hmm. And you get a little table here. Opposite the theater seating, too. Yeah. That's really Beautiful. nice. I like that a lot. And just need two seats, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. I'm digging it. And by the way, this has a spare tire and a backup cam and a ladder to get up on the roof. I got a full awning here too. Stabilizer jacks under there. And enough room for two propane cans and automatic stabilizer in the front. Gross vehicle weight on this guy is almost 7,500 pounds. So these guys I was interested in, the little Winnebago Minis, that's more in our size, I think. So the gross vehicle weight on these Winnebago Minis is 5,500 pounds. But here you go. You can stand a thing couple of bed. twin beds, which is not a bad idea. <laughs> but if you looks, actually want to sleep, yeah, and you can it extend like it over extends. that way. Storage up top. Got kind of cheaper shades. Another table that folds down. Oh, these are like and your TV and right back there. Like the metal panels on Yeah. Four. Got a two burner or three burner here. Three. Three burner. Nice size fridge. And freezer. Yeah. And freezer. And the bathroom. Oh, got a nice little travel sink. Oh, nice. Small toilet. And the shower looks like it's a problem again, but yeah. well, it looks I mean, how much time are you spending in the shower? So my head is in the skylight again, <laughs> but it's even to where the faucet is. And there is storage in here too, in the bathroom. So yeah, oh, you can you put can like hang, coats and stuff yeah, in there. Anything. Storage under the beds. But this is an option. <laughs> oh, they're pull down. Oh, I see. I like that they have the curtain here too, so you could just pull it and separate your beds. Because Mary sleeps later than me most of the time. <laughs> which is not bad. You got outlets at the top of the bed, including USB ports. And I do like the size of the sink here too. And so this guy, 27,000. This is a size to which is pretty important. And oh, only nice. magnetic catch. Oh, and there's lots of storage. It goes all the way under the bed on both sides. We're getting into rather large ones here. Oh, uh, see, this is the one that I wasn't too fond about. You could either enter in the bedroom or in the back. Front. But then look at the bathroom. Oh yeah, so this cuts off, or it's shared from the main seating area or the bedroom here. Yeah, so if you wanna just- But holy cow, look at this. Yeah, isn't this huge? This is 30 grand. Take a look around here. We have bunks and two sets of couches. But, oh, the shower is even shorter than the other guys. Yeah. Go with these. Imagine 14 MS. Oh wow! The bed is part of the slide out, though. I'm always weary of slide outs going to break. We got a little desk area here, a prep area, where it would be your kitchen, I guess, and this folds up. You have a two burner. Yeah. A lot of counter space. Yeah, that's crazy. The amount of counter space in this guy. And the shower is decent and it has its own sink and some space. One thing that this does not have is storage for the most part, except in there, I guess. 
onto the slightly bigger one, the Imagine 21 BHE. Here has bunk beds. This one's nicer. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one's nicer. This has the TV up here, so the TV can come out and position for your seating here, too. 29 oh, on this guy. This bathroom. Wow. Bathroom is nice, it smells brand new. It is short. It's good for short So my people. head is in the skylight, but <laughs> there's plenty of room to be able to take a shower in here. Towels and end. Yeah, Mary loves the storage here. Got a couple Oops. little hooks. I love this. Actual medicine cabinet. And you have a cabinets underneath. And yeah. That's, that's great. And two, like, really big yeah. bunk beds. I mean, I don't know how you're going to slide your way in there, but if you're a kid, you could do it or get up here. Yeah. I guess you could stand on seat yeah, and kind of propel yourself, but here. plenty of room. I mean, all of this stuff you could use for storage. That's what I would do. Or if you don't want to mess up the bed or you got people coming over, we come out to the races, out to the concerts, travel the country. Tons of closet space in here, too. And it's this folds up room. into uh, couch also. It's a little Murphy yeah. bed. And inside the storage here. We'll open this guy up. Look at that. A little outside fridge. And a griddle. Hot damn, dude. Dual axle. A little spray port there too for anything you need to clean off outside. But look at this. Even the bunks had their own windows. Extra storage here. Let's see how this guy looks. Here's your storage straight through. So the gross vehicle weight on this guy is 6,400 pounds. It's just trailers everywhere. We'll never be able to tow this guy. I can't imagine what does tow this guy, but let's take a look inside. Oh. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh my God. Like a regular bedroom's bigger than in a New York apartment. <laughs> this whole thing is Yeah. Different. Look at this. This is like a whole apartment, like a real apartment. Yeah. Oh my God. Tons of storage in here. Look at You got a full closet or pantry here. And this, of course, must and, you know, come in Yeah. When you're ready to drive. Six seats. Yeah, this is crazy. Fireplace, huge TV. There's a slide out, but gigantic. Yes. Basically, just live in this full time. Oh my gosh, yes. They have a ton of Class C motorhomes here, too. And well, honestly, this is what I originally was looking at. But knowing that wherever you go and you park your temporary residence, you're kind of going to want to go somewhere else, too. And I think that's why I rule these out. You can see what these guys look like on the inside $221,000 for this guy. So, you have your cockpit, passenger seat, sink, microwave, and basically a place to sleep. And you're paying more than some houses in Florida. You got a little pop up here, 123 grand. You got a wet bath. Bed area in the back, a little cook space, not too shabby. And you could sleep up top in a little pop-up tent. Check out this Thor Vegas. Oh, nice. Built on a Ford. Oh, wow. Couch. This is nice. 
That is, uh... Oh, my God. Interesting. How do you get in here? Oh, <laughs> you know what? This door... <laughs> this door opens up. Mmm. Got some storage in here. I don't know if I like the whole... Nice mirror. But... Full fridge. Two little burner. two burner stove. This guy is used for 170. Little Thor Omni. Let's slide out. Look at this. Well, I got a little overhang there. Oh yeah, nice. Full shower. A little cramped toilet. But also, bedroom in the back. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Oh my god. You have a whole, like, yeah. you know, cabinet. You can hang up a whole bunch of things. A little dresser area right under your TV. It's big. You want to see what one of the big boy tour buses look like? Oh, in this Winnebago, 190 grand. so they don't slide. Come in the bedroom. Huge. Huge. Look at that closet. Tons of area. You got a little window to be able to look outside. The bathroom is still kind of cramped, but it actually has a seat. Nice. 280 grand on this. Tiffin. Oh, there's people in here. Here's the bedroom. Wow. Holy yeah. cow. There's a washer and dryer in here. Yeah. Or at least a washer. Oh There's the dryer. Yeah. You are self sufficient here. In the shower. Normal slash shower. Oh my god. Yeah. Toilet and sink in here. You can have your privacy. Wow. <laughs> and huge in the front. Huge. Wise. That one is four eighty. This guy is four hundred seventy-two thousand dollars. Whoa! Wow! Look at the floor. Holy cow! Wow! Look at the size of this guy. Hmm. Oh my god. Got a double sink. Well, other than a gigantic country. bedroom here. That's a regular size. Fridge. Oh my goodness. And this is the main bath. Look at this. Oh, all your stuff. Double vanity in here. Yep. Look at this. Washer dryer. Gigantic TV. Fireplace in here. Look at this bed. Look, it's like a king size bed. And a ceiling fan. There's the four hundred eighty thousand dollar guy. Wow. 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 Ugh. Ooh, cab is nice. Ooh. This is basically the same as the other. Look at this thing. This is king size bed. Oh! I will say for four hundred and eighty thousand dollars, that bed is not as comfortable as you would think. What's back here? A walk-in closet. Wow. Wow. Look at that for your shoes. And accessories, all kinds of good stuff. Sure I guess you're pretty much living in here. Wow. But for four hundred eighty thousand dollars, 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, you got a little wine fridge. Are you shitting me? Oh my god. Yeah. Wow, look at this thing. Swing around. A little theater seating here, too. And you need that theater seating for the TV that goes in and out. That is just crazy. Well, Daytona Auto Show, uh, pretty much just La Mesa RV here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a bigger RV show that's coming in uh, um, the end of the month in um, yeah. Tampa. Uh, 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 speechless. <laughs> uh, they didn't necessarily have what I was looking for here, but they did have a good idea of the sizes of things that we would be looking at. Yeah, um, I am not still we, uh, yeah, what we can't get. <laughs> I'm still kind of uh, enamored by the Tab 400, even though it's small. I think it just kind of fits our needs for being able to get out and go camping and so forth. I think a lot of the folks that are looking here are looking for um, a way to be able to travel. Uh, non-stop continuously and we both still work full-time so mm -hmm. I mean even though we could potentially work remote from some of these places sometimes we do go camping on the regular in tent, tent camping and we know from the campgrounds that Wi-Fi is not necessarily the uh, easiest to uh, mm -hmm. to achieve when you're yeah. in some of these campsites also um, and speaking of tent camping we actually did upgrade this year we bought a, a shift pod in addition to the gazelle that we have so when we go camping at some of the concerts and then we're going to hit rockville and we're complimenting other shows um be able to camp in uh, a little bit of a nicer tent not that the gazelle is has anything wrong with it because i love no, that tent. Is awesome um, but uh, we're going to try the shift pot a little bit and see what we can kind of jerry rig a little bit with some uh either fans or air conditioning or something this year to make it a little bit cooler and uh, a little yeah. more soundproof too so people aren't yelling f and slayer at us at three o'clock <laughs> in the morning but uh, in any event, we're going to get out of here. Um, this is the voyage or the journey to see what we potentially would get. Because we forever just keep putting things off. And, uh, you know, we're going to get to that age where you can't just put things off anymore. And you say, like, I wish we did that at some point. Mm -hmm. At this point, I wish we did that. So, um, <laughs> you know, in any event. Um, I'm obsessed with camping videos. So we watch a ton of, ton of videos all the time. He does. And stuff. So we're going to get out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.